my name is Barbara Mancini, and I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I was arrested and charged with felony assisted suicide in 2013 after my father, who was in hospice, took a large dose of morphine. My father was taken to the ER against his expressed wishes for treatment, and the police arrested me, and I endured a year long prosecution for that. In the course of that prosecution, a friend of mine told me about Compassion and Choices. And I made contact with Compassion and Choices. And after that contact, they got involved with helping my attorney in advising him on the constitutional issues and, and legal end of life issues. So they were a very helpful part of my defense for this unjust prosecution. The media attention that resulted from their efforts was tremendous. The interest in my story was intense. Basically brought my case and the case of End of Life Choice into the public consciousness in a big way. And ultimately, the Commonwealth Court judge dismissed the case. So I am now working with Compassion and Choices to make sure that aid in dying is in the public consciousness and it's something that can be legally enacted in all states so that no other person has to be subjected to such an ordeal. Compassion and Choices had established a legal defense fund, so they were able to present me with a check for $20,000, which offset some of the legal fees. I am supremely grateful for everybody who made the effort to do that. It helped me survive a terrible ordeal. It meant the world to me to have people verbalize their support for me, People wrote to me, they emailed me, they came up to me and said, we support you, we're thinking about you. It helped sustain me through a year of hell. Going through a prosecution after the death of my father allowed me no time to grieve. And I don't think I'll ever have normal grieving from this process because it will always be tied to that horrific ordeal. I was very glad I had the chance to tell my story because I'm trying to make it right for my dad. And I hope that in helping other people, I can somehow heal from this too. I urge you to work to change the law and to support Compassion and Choices.